How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is how to win every face off in NHL 22. Uh, if I missed any question, you know, question, oh, what if I do this, what if I do that, in the comment section down below, I will tell you what to do. I believe I got through all of them, though. Uh, if you guys do enjoy this content, though, and it helps you, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here. But I have all these clips. I'm going to describe everything that happens and try to help you guys out to the best of my ability. Because face-offs, they've been the same for a very long time as well. These are very similar to previous years, so... I haven't made one of these in a very, very long time since NHL 16 or something like that or 17. I made it very, very poorly. So hopefully this one goes better than that. But without further ado, guys, let's hop into it. I'm here to help you guys. All right, so let's hop into it right now, guys. Face-offs are very, very interesting. Uh, they've been, again, very, very, very much so similar the last while here in NHL. I think it should completely revamp the system. But right now in this first clip, as you can see, it's a backhand versus backhand face-off, okay? So uh, this one is very interesting as well. So they're all very similar, and the key to winning face-offs in NHL 22 and in any NHL game is really about the counters and kind of figuring out and trying to understand what your opponent's been doing and, and trying to figure out a pattern on what they do, maybe in certain situations like, are they doing this in the offensive zone? Are they doing this in the defensive zone? Like tying up in the D zone? Are they tying up in the offensive zone all the time? Are they doing stick lift? you know, in the offensive zone all the time. They're doing stick lift in the neutral zone. Like, there's certain patterns you can kind of tell that a player is going to be doing. And that really is the key, I think. I mean, it's, it's more, it's really about getting in your opponent's head, I'd say, when it comes to face-offs. It's really crazy to, sound, to say, but it really does seem like that's kind of the, the big deal when it comes to face-offs is just trying to figure out what your opponent's thinking. Uh, but, of course, there's counters, and I'm here to tell you guys about each counter. So, in this first clip, we have the backhand versus backhand and uh, what happens is if you go both backhand straight back, what's going to happen is the player that has the better rating will win the faceoff. So if Crosby has a better rating than Jared McCann, Crosby will win it backhand straight back. Uh, if, if that's not going to be the case, uh, it will be based on basically whoever moves their stick. Uh, properly so of course holding a backhand on your stick you hold that to the right side on the right analog stick the bottom the lower analog stick of course on the playstation and xbox you know what i mean and uh yeah i mean that, that's the way to do it and then just push down and win it straight back on the right stick and uh that is the key to winning the backhand straight back versus another backhand straight back on this clip as you can see right back crosby wins it no problem so yeah, that's uh, that's really one of the most like, I guess kind of like people are kind of confused how that works. What if you do the same thing? Uh, that's kind of just how it's gonna be. So moving on to the next clip here, and this next clip, guys, is going to be basically a forehand versus a backhand. Okay, so what's gonna happen is here if he's going forehand uh, and I hold my backhand, he's going for a forehand tie up. If I go for a backhand stick lift, it will always beat the forehand tie up. Stick lifting when someone, per, when another person is doing a tie up, is basically the number one way to win a face off against someone who just keeps tying up every time. You got to do stick lifts, uh, so you can hold the right stick to the right and then push up on their your stick. So that's uh, that's the easiest way when it comes to that. Uh, it, this is really, again, not a rating thing at all. You could have someone that has 40 face-offs against someone that has 95 face-offs. If the other person is doing a forehand tie-up and you do your backhand stick lift, you will win the face-off back 100% of the time unless your timing is completely off. Uh, but that's, again, up to you at that point, which most people's timing is not going to be off enough where it's not going to work properly. So that's just uh, another one that... I think people kind of don't really understand what to do with sometimes. Like, oh, well, this guy keeps tying me up. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Backhand stick lift against forehand tie-ups. Very, very, very much so works all the time. So that's just what it comes down to for that one. And let's move on to the next one. And the next one is going to be a, another forehand versus backhand. Okay, so uh, the Seattle player has the forehand. I have the backhand yet again. As you can see, so this one is going to be a forehand stick lift beating a backhand stick lift, okay? So uh, he's going for a a backhand stick lift, and I have a forehand stick lift, and, I, and he beats me with a forehand stick lift. So over the top with the forehand beats the backhand stick lift, 
And uh, that's just, you know, another very, very efficient way uh, to win face-offs right there. Uh, that also could have been a forehand uh, stick lift beating a backhand tie-up as well. So that's another another thing to keep in mind. So it could be a forehand stick lift beating the backhand tie-up. So there's also other ways to go about that as well. Uh, moving on to the next one here. And this one right here is going to be backhand versus forehand yet again. So I'm on my backhand and this one right here is going to be another backhand uh, that will be against a forehand where I will simply win this straight back. So what happens is he was going for a forehand, a forehand, I believe, tie up here. Or sorry, forehand just kind of straight back, but timing wins it here. And uh, he's right, we went for a forehand just kind of like winning a straight back, but the timing of Crosby driving it down there is uh, what makes the difference on that particular face-off. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just really what it comes down to. Uh, so this next one here is going to be a backhand. Now a backhand versus a backhand. And this really comes down to, again, just a face-off that you're both doing the same exact thing and he drops a puck, and I'm going for the backhand stick lift. So what that meant is he was going to do a backhand tie-up. So that's that's the one thing right there. A backhand stick lift against a backhand tie-up. The stick lift will always win that as well. So that's just another one to keep in mind. Again, guys, I apologize if I'm not really explaining this as properly maybe as some other people would, but... I'm doing my best here to try to, you know, give you my knowledge on it and, uh, you know, show you particular instances on how face-offs are going to go. So this one is going to be a forehand against a backhand. As you can see, I'm holding the forehand and the Seattle player is holding the backhand. And a forehand win back here will beat a backhand straight back, depending on the timing again. Uh, that's really what it comes down to, so... You're going to see in a moment here, the puck does get dropped and the puck will be dropped and it will come down to more of a timing thing uh, more than anything else right here. Uh, he actually wins it backhand straight back uh, because I was going for a forehand stick lift. But if you're going back, you can win it backhand, backhand straight back against the forehand stick lift. It won't do anything because that's not really, it doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? It doesn't really make any sense. Uh, then this one is going to be a forehand versus a backhand faceoff as well. And this one, it's, again, there's, there's so many different counters and there's so many different, you know, instances where something can happen. But this one particularly is me going to win it forehand stick lift as he was going for a backhand tie up right there. So uh, that's that's right very much so a great way to win the face-offs. And then we have this next one here coming up where this one is going to be another forehand versus a backhand face-off. And this is going to be one where I forehand went it back. So basically what he was doing was he was trying to win it uh, straight back on the backhand, but the forehand went back, wins it due to the timing and him being a little bit not as quick. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, then this one is going to be another forehand versus forehand type of face-off. So forehand versus forehand. And this one right here is going to come down to the forehand stick lift, okay? So the forehand stick lift, uh, actually the forehand tie-up right here, my bad, forehand tie-up will beat anything backhand except for a backhand stick lift. Uh, I was I was talking about the other clip that's about to come up right now. But yes, a forehand tie-up will beat anything that's not a backhand stick lift. So that's just something to keep in mind. So this next one is going to be a forehand versus a forehand. So right here, he's going for a forehand tie-up, the Seattle Kraken player. I'm going for a forehand stick lift, and I'm able to win this forehand stick lift right back uh, due to that being the case. Again, guys, I'm sorry if I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm trying to really do this. This is really 
a hard video for me to do. I'm not really the smartest when it comes to explaining things. I feel like, like especially in depth things like this. I hope I'm explaining it as probably as possible. I'm a little bit maybe rambling on and stuff, but uh, on to this last one here as well. Uh, this is where it's going to be backhand versus backhand, and backhand tie up will beat anything uh, except for, of course, a stick lift right here. Uh, and if he does a tie up, but you have this, the rating comes down to it at that point. If you guys both do the same thing, uh, whoever gets a tie up, it will be based on their rating. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, I hope I explained it pretty good. I mean, I know I'm not the best at explaining all these other things, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully, you gained some knowledge on it. Uh, I try my best to, to do this, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel here, follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik, three E's. And join Discord to talk to me, follow the subscribers of the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.